Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a three month forecast for you. Uh, this is being recorded in September so uh, month one might be October, month two November, month three December but if you watch it in November then that would be month one. Okay. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. What do we got for month one? for Sagittarius. Oh, there it is. There's one. What do we have for month two for Sagittarius? Month two. Month three. Month three. What do we got for month three for Sagittarius? Month three. Now we're going to get one of these. What do we got for month one for Sagittarius? Month one. Month one. Month two. And month three, please. Ooh. Okay. Start with month one. What do we got for month one for Sagittarius? All these cards are going to be laid out upright. And we're going to see what comes up. Month one. Month one for Sagittarius. Month two. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three. Too many. Okay, now we're going to get an overall energy for the next three months. Sagittarius and overall energy. Overall energy for Sagittarius for the next three months. The Knight of Pentacles. So you're receiving something. This is a gift. This is something uh, well earned. Okay. You've passed some sort of test, Sagittarius. So you are absolutely going to be receiving something within the next th three months. Something that is tangible. Something that you can touch. Something that you can put your hands on. Something that will be very valuable to you. Okay. I think you're going to be, re somebody's going to be giving it to you. Okay, so you're going to be receiving something. Um, yeah, so that's what I see. Could be a new job, could be a home, could be a car, could be money. Whatever it is, you are going to be receiving something. Start with month number one. Manifestation. The tribe. All right, so you have manifested something, absolutely. You are, you are manifesting something probably right now. The tribe. Judgment. Three of swords. Four of cups. Three of cups. King of wands. And the five of wands. Oh, we're pretty zoomed in, aren't we? Okay, so this is this is uh, an awakening of some sort. This is an epiphany. This is some sort of truth. This is this is uh, a release. It's a card of forgiveness, release, awakening. Um, some sort of truth coming out. This is a card of socializing. You may be socializing, having fun, meeting new people. 
uh, we know all we we know what this is. This is heartache. This is pain. Um, I think that you guys have been in a state of despair, right? You've really been suffering over a situation, and you may be still feeling it during this month. It looks as though you know you you may be at a point of being distraught, even like why, 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 why. But I think there's something that you're not seeing here. You're focused on some sort of painful situation, but you're not seeing that there is an opportunity. There's an, there's an opportunity that you're missing. You're missing an opportunity here. This right here, the King of Wands, this is somebody who uh, is very creative, creates something new, takes action to create something new. This person is very positive. Um, it's, it's like you see something, you get some sort of new vision, you see something and it blossoms, it grows. You may get this new idea or you may get this new epiphany, whatever it is, this new realization that you got to do something and you just, whatever it is, it's like you do it and whatever this is, it, it's going to... It's going to help you, okay? Because this is very positive. It's going to help you. We have this Five of Wands, though. So this is conflict. Maybe this is getting back in the game, okay? This could be getting back into the game. Um, putting yourself out there. You probably will be having a lot of fun. Fun with friends. Um, Get-togethers. You may even have a reunion coming up, okay? Both of these cards are, are basically cards of reunion. A reconciliation, perhaps. There could be a reconciliation with somebody. Um, somebody could be coming back around. Somebody could be looking at you. Or, you know, you may see something and something pops. It's like something pops and you realize, boom! Whether it's you or the other person, it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like you see something, you finally see something, and it's what you, it's what you, um, have been waiting for. This is a card of resurrection. I keep wanting to say that, resurrection. So, if you have been, and you probably have been down in the dumps, I think that's over. I think you're about to refine your vitality again, you know, vibrate on a higher level. It's like things, it's just, it's just like, it's like the phoenix. There you go. It's like the phoenix rising. I see, I see you guys rising back up. That's what I see. Um, there's been some tension and there's been some conflict over a very painful situation, but maybe your friends are going to come in and help you. They're going to come take you out or they're going to do something with you or you make new friends or something like that. Um, your, your time of being discontent is just about over. I think you're turning your back on that situation because I, I feel as though you've got this new, uh, opportunity, this new vision or this new found confidence even, you know, maybe you got this new found, um, vitality within you and it's just like, you know what, I'm going to put myself back out there. I'm going to, I'm going to go have some fun. I'm just going to live. I am going to live. I'm going to live. I'm not going to keep sulking. I'm not going to keep staying here. I am going to live. So I feel like this month, um, somebody is going to be helping you by the looks of things. I think that you're going to be getting together with friends. It's going to be a very social time for you. Let me just read that card. The Tribe. Community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. Yeah, there's going to be family and friends around you. Absolutely. This card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures. Yeah, this is very social month. And we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. You could become the leader. You could become the boss this month. Okay? This is a golden opportunity. You are going to be offered something. 
okay, in the next three months, but maybe it's going to happen. Maybe you get offered something each month, okay? Each month you get something else. I feel you are definitely going to receive something. You could receive a bonus or a new a new job or a new title even. Um, anyway, no matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. And there are times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of, of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you are being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. So, is it, it's, it's, you're going to be with somebody. Could be a friend, could be a lover, could be family, could be a several friends, whatever. This is, this is your tribe coming together. Whether you're a leader or you're just part of the tribe, this is going to be a very social month where... You're, act, you're part of it. You're a big, 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 big part of it, whatever it is. You're being highly recognized. It's like you're being sought out. You will really be living a much better life this month, okay? It looks, it looks, it looks good. Um, let's go for this one. Manifestation. The wizard is a symbol of magic and manifestation whose power is activated harmoniously through the mind and heart. Now this is the magician. This is the magician. Bridging humanity with the world of spirit, the wizard borrows the power of the universe to direct and enhance energy to a specific task, healing, or outcome. A wise wizard is loving, spontaneous, and transparent, with intelligence and an open heart. The wizard is able to help all people, and himself included. The wizard does this by harnessing the power that is all around him. Without expectation, the wizard allows the beauty of magic to come through him rather than trying to control and manipulate it. An open and trusting heart is a refined tool of perception. Right now, you have the power to manifest your dreams into a reality. With pure thoughts and intention, you can create magic in the world around you, allowing energy to flow through you with ease and with purpose. You can create a magical life. Learn to share your natural gifts with others. You are here to help humanity in a positive way. Refrain from sharing your personal intentions now as they will e they as they will easily be influenced with others distorted energy you have the power to create and shine your light upon the world examine your thought patterns and energy and amplify your intentions positive thought and creativity will and this is what this is too positive thought and creativity will bring you closer to your goals one step at a time intentions are everywhere right now follow your it follow your attention Focus your attention on seeing the magic in all things, including the beauty residing in the darkness. Look towards the stars for guidance. Astrological influences are high now. Manifest the power of energetic thought and investigate magical or alchemy, alchemy, it says alchemic practices. This will assist you in understanding natural systems such as the elements, nature, medicine, astrology, and life synchronicities. With the right mindset, you can create and manifest anything. So, you guys, are, you, it's like you've manifested something or you will be manifesting something this month. This is manifestation as well. You're about to receive something, I believe. Whether it's whether it's new friendship, whether it's a new friend, new new tribe, new group. Um, I think your time of discontent and heartache and pain and suffering is over. It's like you get this new vision, you get this new creative spark within you. It's like I don't know what happens. Like something just bursts. It's like that phoenix rising. It's like whew, you're 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 back. You're back in October. You're really 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 back. So, um, 
You're def you could be out, you know, going to games with friends, going to parties with friends, you know, doing a lot of things with friends, okay? Just being out in the community. So it's a very uh, busy, busy month for you in October. That's what I see. Okay, sorry, I picked those. I, I, I turned the camera on and off because it's only got a 20 minute limit. Okay, like 22 minutes. So I just, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and pick these up. I'm going to leave that one right there. Month number two. Animal Kingdom. Thinker. So, animal, and that is a really good card. Now, I'm going to let you look at it for a second, and you might want to hit pause while you're looking at this. Pick an animal. I'm going to read it in a minute. What animal are you drawn to the most? You may have gotten this in the last reading. I can't remember. Which animal are you drawn to the most? Think. Think, 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 huh? This is month number two. Three of Wands, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Emperor, Two of Swords, and the High Priestess. Make sure this is zoomed in. So you'll be right in your power in November. This is you making a decision, sticking to it, knowing what you want. Quite matter of fact, this is it. I'm going to do it this way. That's the way it is. So I feel that I think that you are going to be taking on this energy or you are dealing with somebody that is in this energy. This person is not about feeling. It's like, this is the way it is. <laughs> like it or lump it. Okay. Now this is a card of avoidance, okay, and denial. You could this is this is this is cheating, this is lying, this is deception. Um a three of wands, getting prepared for something. Get prepared because something is about to happen. Something is about to happen, something is about to arrive. Um you probably know what this is. You probably do. I think your intuition is probably telling you what this is. Could have to do with a father. Could have to do with a very prominent man in your life. Um, doesn't have to do with a father. Could do with, with any male. This is a male that is very dominant. You could be taking on this energy. If you are the male Sagittarius watching this, you may, you may be really focused on um, leaving a bad situation. Okay, getting out of a really, really bad situation. Maybe you've been making plans to do that. And it's the month where you are planning it. It looks like it's a month of planning here. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is hurting you. Okay. Somebody is, is keeping you stuck. They could be, um, holding you back in some way. I feel as though you are being intuitively guided, whether it's coming from your gut or it's coming from a reader or a counselor or a psychic or a medium or somebody it's like you are being guided to you know be strong be really 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 strong stand in your power turn your back on a situation don't let anybody take your power don't let anybody steal your power from you you have come a very long way. Block this person. There is somebody that you need to block. Could be a father. Could be a stepfather. Somebody that is cheating you, lying to you, hurting you. I don't know who this is. Could be a husband. Um, there could be a seductress here. Okay, just saying. I mean, the, the high priestess could be a seductress. Um that you need to block just saying I mean I don't know where that came from but it did anyhow I feel like you need to take control of a situation you need to be able to control your emotions don't let your heart get in the way of all that is logical okay you need to protect yourself 
If you don't protect yourself, nobody else, you have to protect yourself. I think that, you know, in the previous month, you're out having fun. You're doing really good and you've come a long way. You may have somebody that's jealous of you. They've jealous, they're jealous that you have gained structure. You have gained order in your life. Maybe they're jealous that you uh, have turned your back on them. So get prepared for something, okay? I think that you will, you will know that this is coming before it comes. I feel as though you will sense it. You may just want to sit back and, and not even talk with this person. Isolate yourself. Block, 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 block. My advice is you may need to block somebody this month. Maybe even need to get a restraining order. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't like to say stuff like that, but I, I feel as though you're dealing with somebody who is abusive. They're cold and, and there's no love in these cards. It's like they're holding you back or they're, they're jealous of you. Um... Yeah, I think that, that you need to be confident. I think that um, you should be respected and do not let anybody disrespect you. If if people are disrespecting you, you hold your head up high and just keep right on a moving. Okay, you keep right on a moving because it feels as though um, you're headed, you're making progress, you're doing well. And people are recognizing how well you are doing. And, uh, you know... I think that you you may have somebody that really doesn't want you to work with anybody else. I, that's what I feel. I think that, you know, this is reverse, but I'm going to take it upright. It's the lovers. I think you have a new partnership here or you have a new uh, contract and you're dealing with somebody who, you know, doesn't want you to work with somebody else. That's what I see. I see success. I see communication. I see something unexpected coming into your life. If you are single, you could have an unexpected lover coming in. Okay. If you are in a coupled relationship, you need to probably be careful. Okay. You be careful because maybe you're, be, I don't know if you're being cheated. Okay. This is, this could be cheated. This could be cheated. You could be dealing with somebody who's in a third party situation. They like the recognition. You know, they could be dealing with, there could be a seductress that is, uh, after your man, if you are a, the woman watching this, there, if you are the man watching this, there is absolutely an opportunity for love here that is unexpected, and it's and it is very seductive. So you could, it, I'm just saying. I mean, somebody could be tempted to cheat. Just saying, okay. If you are completely single, there is somebody coming in that um, is very very attractive to you. Uh, there's there's a magnetic pull okay um could be a gemini could be a libra could be an aquarius could be an aries um i think that you will know you will sense whatever this is i think your intuition your gut will tell you that whatever this is i think that you will know you will get some sort of sixth sense before what this happens You'll get some sort of gut gut notion, like maybe maybe you'll you your gut will say somebody's cheating, okay? You, your gut could say that, okay? Don't ignore it, please, okay? You you may get some sort of gut um, notion that uh, you've you know you've met somebody new. Maybe this person is already in a commitment. They're already working with somebody else. You got to be careful, okay? This says be careful. Be careful, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who really likes recognition. They like to be recognized at all times. And, you know, they involve them. They're just looking for a good time, okay? So just, just be really, really careful. I know this has went a couple different ways, but I feel like there is a new connection coming in here that is very unexpected. Um, an unexpected opportunity to work with somebody, uh... This is still, I mean, even though we have the lover's card, I think that this person may be a little cold. And you might want to beware of false beginnings, okay? All that glitters really isn't gold. It's not. Be careful of false beginnings. I think that you need to be really careful about your choices this month because I think that you're going to be presented with this choice and this person may already have somebody else. Or vice versa, you know what I mean? It looks like it's a third party situation, honestly. 
That's what it looks like to me. Um, yeah. So I think for month number two, you definitely need to be careful of cheating. You need to be careful of deception. I think that you have come a long ways. Do not let people um, bring you backwards, please. I think that you should wait for the right relationship. Okay? Don't don't waste your time on cheaters. Just saying. We're going to go ahead and read these cards now. We're going to start right here. Thinker. 44. It's funny, when I started this reading, it was 444. That's angels, angel guidance, universal guidance. 444. Strategy. <clears throat> Being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. The ability to reason and strategize is to focus now. And that is right here. That Knight of Pentacles. This is reason and strategy. This is about a plan and following the plan. Okay? The ability to reason and strategy and strategize is the focus now. Take things at... Take things at face value and follow the logical path. We talked about being logical. Your calculations will prove to be correct. Like I told you, it will. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. Your gut is going to tell you. I already knew this. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life. You're playing right now. Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. Make sure you're not going based on desire. That's why I see the seduction here. Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. Is if, if if there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in fantasy. And this is fantasy. It really Beware of false beginnings. No matter what, in this case, the facts are the facts. You are going to come across... A person that is very seductive to you. Your gut will say no. This person will be very seductive to you. Keep going in November. Let's move on. Let's move. Oh, we got to do Animal Kingdom, don't we? Animal Kingdom. When we witness the wonder of the animal kingdom, we become still and present with the natural cycle of life. Animals are loving, brave, and fierce, and live by their instincts. Animals have their own medicine and share its properties with us when we connect to them in spirit. All animals in their natural state are happy and driven with purpose. Animals are great teachers. They love unconditionally and work together to provide their pack or family groups with security, safety, food, and shelter, only taking what they need to survive. Animals live in harmony with nature and maintain a balanced environment without human interference. They know when to rest, hunt, and move in perfect order. Right now, the animal kingdom is encouraging you to follow your own path. Living in the present gives us more time during our day because we are not consumed by fears of the future or the past. Resetting, resetting you to your natural state of being, spending time with animals, will ground your energy into the present. Getting back to your primal instincts encourages confidence and surety with others. As you know where you stand as an individual, simplicity is called for now. Take a step away from material endeavors. Go back to the basics and bare essentials for clarity and peace of mind. Rest. 
The animals ask you to stay focused and balanced, spend time in nature, and connect to the animals around you. Stop and listen to their chatter, music, song, and dance. They, they will share messages of healing and wisdom whenever you choose to listen. Connect to your power animal for guidance. It has messages for you now. Focus on the card. Which animal are you drawn to? This will identify the medicine of the animal kingdom that you need right now. Bear. If you, are you drawn to the bear? Hibernation, strength, and confidence. Challenges are ahead. The wolf. Seeing the truth. Be cautious. Follow your intuition. If you were drawn to that wolf, be careful. The owl. Our higher wisdom. Observation, dreaming, and transition. Deer. Family, gentleness, unconditional love, and speed. Eagle. Perspective, call to source, patience. <sighs> Follow your gut in November. You will be tempted. You will be tempted by somebody who is not emotionally available, but they look damn good. Let's move on. Month number three or December. Illusion. All that glitters. Be careful. Be careful for what you see. This makes sense. In December, you may you may actually go for that seductor seductive person by the looks of things. Because it looks so good. You better be damn careful because all that glitters really is not gold. This is a message you need to hear. Be careful of false beginnings. If you did not hear what I said for November and you are taking this into December, you could run into some problems. You need to be practical. You need to be grounded. You need to be you need to be real, okay? Don't let this is reality. Don't let fantasy the, this fantasy person who looks so beautiful and seductive to you play you. We're into month number 3. Temperance, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Moon, yeah. Illusion, Absolute Illusion. Now, this is overindulging. I can have it all. I can have whatever I want. This is a dream come true. This is wish fulfillment. This right here is Immature, the Page of Cups. You could, you could, oh my God. Now this is, be, this is temperance. This is coming together. This is evolving. This is changing. And you, and you got to remember, this is turning, uh, what, lead to gold? We're going to read that card in a minute. The hair font. Let's get these two extras. They're both reversed. Your gut. The nine of swords in reverse is your, this is your gut extremely this is like your gut is really 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 plaguing you when you get the nine of swords and reversed it says caution give deep 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 thought to a relationship the person that you are dealing with may not have good intentions they may be unhealthy for you this is very very seductive very very unhealthy this is lust. This is obsession. This is greed. This is sex. Okay, I know. I mean, I, it doesn't matter if they're upright or reversed, honestly. Anyhow, 
I feel as though you guys are probably looking for a commitment, right? You're looking for a commitment. You're looking for love. You're wanting a commitment, you know, but there's somebody that has a lot of burden, somebody that is overwhelmed, somebody that uh, may need to be patient, be patient. And I know that you hear it all the time, right? I hear it all the time. I got to be patient. Well, it's that impulsive energy that gets you in trouble. So this is a welcome offer of love, right? It is. It's a very playful, it's very playful energy. Um, but all is not as it seems. The moon is all is not as it seems. Yes, yeah, somebody may be offering you love, but it's not what it seems. So you are, you definitely have something that you need to learn. This is a card of overindulging and this is a card of overindulging. They're marrying each other. You may, you may indulge, you may indulge yourself, you may get yourself in over your head, okay, in a situation that is false, that is completely an illusion, but damn, it looks good, we're still in December, same thing, it's going to cause you stress, it's going to cause you worry, and your gut is going to know, okay, your gut is absolutely going to know that this is too much. This is too much for you, okay? I feel as though, you know, you're going to have to listen to your higher power. You're going to have to listen. Your This is gut again. So I feel as though your gut is going to, you are going to be very highly intuitive this, intuitive this month. I feel like you are going to, you're, somebody is going to be loving on you, okay? They are. You may be committed to this person right now. This person may tell you that they want a commitment. All is not as it seems. It's a lie. Maybe this person just wants to you to indulge them. Maybe they want you to take care of them. Do they have anything to offer you? Something isn't right. You need to be really, really, really careful here. You're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to go keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over again? Choosing things that look good. I feel as though you, you should... Uh, you're going to have to make a really big decision here. You're going to, you are. Now we got the Ace of Cups. You are going to be receiving an offer of love. You are. Maybe you have to leave something behind to accept it. That's what it looks like right here. Maybe you have to leave a previous commitment or a marriage behind. Or a commitment. Maybe, maybe your gut has been telling you it's time to go. It's time to go. There's a great big world out there. There's an opportunity for love here. Real love. Big love. Maybe maybe it is time. Maybe the time is now to release this baggage of the past. To release a past commitment for good. You are going to receive an offer of love. But maybe you need to completely, this was reverse, sever ties with the past. That could be it. This could go so many ways. You need to leave an unhealthy habit, maybe even, or addiction behind. There could be in addictions in the way. Obsessions. There could, be, there could be drinking issues. Addictions, for sure. There's addictions here. This could be self-love as well. So, December, I think, or month number three, I think that you will be tempted. Very much tempted. You will be tempted to go back to your old ways. Don't do it. Don't do it. Love yourself. Love yourself. Believe and have faith that what is what that you deserve something better, whatever this is. I think that you have an opportunity for happiness. 
But don't let illusion and addictions and codependency get in the way of your own success. Love yourself enough to say, no, no, I'm healed. I'm not going back. I don't know if this is a reconciliation. Somebody may want a reunion with you. They may want to party with you or whatever. They've done you bad. They've done you. It could be an alcohol problem coming back around. I don't know. Don't let your previous addictions, your previous patterns keep you stuck, please. So in December, this is this is an emotional time. It is going to be emotional. This is this is somebody may be offering you a drink. They may offer you a drink. They may this this could be you know, maybe, maybe you're a recovering alcoholic. Just say no. Just say no. They could be offering you drugs. You're recovering. Because I see addictions here. No, 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 no. This is Christmas time, right? The, the hierophant, it's the party, it's holidays, you know. You know, somebody may try to get you drunk, you know, so that they can take advantage of you. Just, just be careful, okay? You will regret it. You will regret it. So, let me just start right here. You're going to be receiving an offer that is not I I let it I'd say no. Put it that way. All that glitters. All that gl I would say no to it. Opened right up to it, did I? <laughs> A need to see beyond the superficial. I can't make it up. A need to see beyond the superficial. The desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. Trying to be something you're not. Chasing after every, every sparkly new thing. It's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title, or a position, the stamp of authority, or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place, or thing. Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all the, gl all the glitter is gone. Would you still desire that object or person? Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and the shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface beyond the mask to, to the essence of a person. Who is that person? Not what he or she has or can give to you is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of the artifice and let what, what is authentic shine. You're going to have a choice. Okay, this is a choice. You're going you're gonna to be at a crossroads where you get to make a decision. You can choose somebody based on their looks or not you may have two opportunities one person doesn't and that could certainly be the case one person doesn't fit the description the other person does Choose the one that doesn't. Let's use this. Let's go for that one. Illusion. Illusion. Appearances are not what they seem. Oh my God. 
You need more information. There are no dead ends in the labyrinth. It appears as if you are continuously going around in a circle. Labyrinths are temples that insist on uncovering the truth, bringing enlightenment of spirit and consciousness from a distorted reality. One is never truly lost within it. Within the labyrinth, we find our own internal compass to lead us in the right direction, awakening and unifying our spirit within the cosmos. The illusion of time and space represents the distortion of your own reality. And that's, that's one of the things for you guys, right? Patience. That's why you're ruled by patience. You're ruled by the temperance card. The illusion of time and space represents the distortion of your own reality. The labyrinth is the exercise in your own soul's development. This illumination of self pushes towards individual experience so you can make informed decisions. Although it may feel like your senses are misleading you, deep down you know the outcome as you have already been here before. Illusions can fool and mislead you into believing a situation is ideal or a person is genuine in their interest or affection when in fact it's the opposite. People can present themselves as helpful, helpful, but they have a secret agenda. Be careful now in your approach to others. The way forward is blurred with smiling assassins. Don't believe everything you hear or see right now. Stay alert. Caution is required for you to see through the smoke and mirrors. Without you seeing the full picture, an error in judgment is likely to, to occur. The key here is to see through the illusion of glamour and helpfulness to what is going on behind the situation. False ideas and beliefs are currently in influencing you. False ideas and beliefs, beliefs right here, are currently influencing you. Researching your ideas or pursuits further will give you clarity and deeper insight prior to any decision making. Distractions are everywhere right now. Your soul's compass is asking you to reassess your direction to uncover your true path. Does this action or decision bring you closer to your life's purpose? Does it? Or is it only going to bring you backwards? So, in December, you are going to be presented with a big, huge gift from somebody. May not, you know, whatever it is. It may seem like it is a blessing. It may seem like it's a gift. But it's not. So be careful. And I'm not here to bring anybody down. But this whole reading, right here, the December especially, was about illusion. And if, and if you don't want to hear it, That's a problem. Slow and steady win, wins the wins the race. Okay. If somebody is wanting to move fast, that is a red flag. It does not lead to anything stable. It does not. You're probably going to have a choice between two people. Choose the one that is not in a hurry. Good luck. 